uh, one product for so many years and people are drinking on a regular basis. So what is this aloe vera gel? Where does it come from and what does it do and how good is it for our body? Well, aloe vera gel comes from aloe vera plant and our company Forever Living has these plantations like this one here which is in, in Dominican Republic and this is acres and acres of land that Forever Living owns and then plants aloe vera zips and then cultivates them and then harvests them and um, produces many products including aloe vera gel which is a key product in our company uh, most sold and most bought product from, from from forever living products it looks like this it looks like really like a like a gel when you when you fillet when you peel the skin when you take away the rind then you get this jelly slippery um, substance from the plant that uh, we produce we then uh, squeeze and uh, we produce a drink this is a product this is a plant that has been used for thousands and thousands of years in many countries and um, our company has found a way to stabilize this aloe vera gel which means um, make it stabilize make it the same and put it in a bottle and when somebody opens the bottle it is practically identical to this aloe vera fresh cut leaf from the from the from the ground from from the plant and our company is the first one who has ever done that and then we have put the patent so that other companies cannot create the same process and procedures to make it stabilized so uh, in reality uh, forever living is the only company in the world that uh, creates stabilized aloe vera gel which is practically identical to a fresh cut leaf and now this product well since 38 years ago they made it available so that everybody else has it in the world across the globe so i want to tell you a little bit more about aloe vera well number one aloe vera uh, there's many aloes but there's only one aloe vera uh, which means real aloe vera and it uh, comes from only one plant that is aloe barbadensis miller because it was discovered on Barbados by Dr. Miller and that's why they named it barbadensis miller which is aloe vera or true aloe there are about 300 different types of, or species of aloe but there's only one true aloe and they call it aloe vera uh, aloe vera is also a lily family and it's perennial so it's not a cactus as many people think and because it looks a little bit like a cactus and has these spikes but it's really like a it's really like a it's really a lily family uh, like onions and um, garlic so it is uh, we all know how garlic and onions are good and, and therefore aloe vera is good as well and aloe, aloe vera lives for about 12 years and um, after four to five years when it reaches maturity that's the time when aloe vera when aloe vera can be harvested and used internally you can use aloe vera when it's younger like a one year two years three years and apply it on your skin and get the benefits that way but uh, for aloe vera to be used as a drink it needs to be mature it needs to be ripe and um, aloe vera can survive without water for many months so it works well in tropical countries it lives there and obviously it cannot uh, survive in uh, anywhere where the temperature goes below zero Celsius because it freezes in and then it dies um, <clears throat> now aloe vera is a leaf uh, this green part here it's called rind or aloe rind and it protects the inner gel and there's uh, this inner part uh, that's called uh, the inner leaf juice and our our company forever living takes this inner juice only where many other companies are taking it all together so they take this rind and, and they combine it together with uh, with aloe vera juice the the, the gel uh, they just want to fill up the bottle quicker and faster so that uh, there is more of it in the bottle but they don't really care if it's uh, 
if it's better for the person or not. Now, that kind of aloe vera has also um, its own properties, but it should not be consumed for a longer time because it sort of um, messes up with the bowel syndrome. And it's good in a way for people who have constipation to take it with, uh, with the rind, but should not be taken for a long period of time, like more than two weeks or three weeks maximum. However, our aloe vera, it does not have rind and it can be taken continuously, uh, day after day, month after month, year after year, without stopping it. And uh, our aloe vera does not have latex in it. Now, here's a, co a list of common questions that uh, many people are having when they're new, when they're sort of want to learn more about aloe vera, or maybe you have some of these questions, and I want to have these questions here on, on the screen, and I want to answer them for you so you, you sort of get better idea uh, on how to use it and, and how to get the benefits. Uh, so the first question is, how much aloe vera should I drink on a daily basis? First, there's no dosage because um, remember and understand this is not this is not a prescription this is not a drug um, there's a banana juice there's apple juice there's cranberry juice and there's also aloe vera juice so aloe vera is just a food however this kind of food it happened to have so many different minerals, nutrients, and vitamins that are so beneficial, so much more beneficial than any other plant that exists. So there's no really dosage. However, most people take between four to six ounces in the morning and four to six ounces in the evening, or approximately 60 milliliters. To put you in perspective, one third of the cup in the morning and one third of the cup in the evening first thing in the morning and last thing in the evening and if you drink that then one liter would last you about one week so that's why when somebody purchases um, vital five for example which is a package for one month supply you get four bottles of aloe vera gel or four liters of aloe vera gel and that's the amount sort of suggested or most commonly used by many people However, some people drink more, which is perfectly fine. If you find it suitable, if you find it that it works better for you, and if you feel that you, you get the benefits, just don't take more and enjoy it. If you want to take less, and if you want to take it by spoon, uh, sure, uh, be my guest and use it that way as well. However, again, most people take about one liter per week to get the results uh, that they're expecting. Uh, second question. Can I drink aloe vera continuously or should I take a break? Um, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, you can drink forever, uh, forever living aloe vera gel continuously without taking any breaks at all. And I drink it or I take it on, on daily basis. However, when I go on vacation sometimes, I don't necessarily take it with me and uh, then maybe I have a break of a week or two weeks or so. Um, I'm not... Uh, sort of religiously uh, taking it in terms of when I go away, but I, when I am at home, which I'm most of the time obviously at home, then I take it on, on daily basis and I get the benefits. So third question, can I take it with my medicine? The question is absolutely yes. The answer is absolutely yes. Because again, this is a food. If you can take food, you can take it with medicine. It will not affect any negative way uh, your medicine. It, it, it will even help you in few ways better. First, your medicine will start working better because it, it will be absorbed better the way it should be. And also every medication, every drug that people take, they have some negative side effects. They have good effects. Uh, they're solving their current problem or pain or, or so on, but also they have negative side effects. They have stomach, they create stomach issues. Uh, it's not good for the liver maybe, it's not good for, for some other things, um, maybe kidneys or uh, sometimes they could create stomach ulcers. And then when you take aloe vera, aloe vera will cleanse, detoxify, and provide extra vitamins and minerals to sort of clean up the mess that, <laughs> that these medicine could make. When is the best time to, trade, to, to drink aloe vera? The best time to drink aloe vera is in the morning. So very first thing in the morning, uh, maybe you want to take a sip, 
swish it in your in your mouth for about 10 5 10 seconds and then swallow it and then do it repeat it a few times so that you take the dosage of whatever your amount you're taking and then the same thing in the evening the very last thing in the evening before you go to bed so it works in your intestines it works in your system that way the best can aloe vera be taken during the chemo and or radiation and answer is of course yes uh, have many many people who are taking it specifically during that period of time because chemo and radiation they have a harsh effect on uh, people's immunities immune system and aloe vera helps to recover and uh, I know personally few people that are have been taking it during that period and it just was helping them with with the problem and it has no negative side effects whatsoever soon can I see results <clears throat> well the question is for for what problem um, different problems or um, you know you will get the results faster or sooner uh, on a few things depends on your organism depends on your immune system depends on how much you depends what kind of uh, problem you might have and, and so on so this question is really it's really hard to answer but most people we'll see some kind of things happening after two, three, four weeks. So between two and four weeks, most people will see some kind of results. If you have some kind of pain in the stomach and you want to sort of try and see if, if aloe vera will help, then you could try and, and drink aloe vera vera gel weeks and, and see if you're getting the results which is wonderful because our company offers 100% money back guarantee so for any customers they have this period of time to to give it a shot and, and see if they're getting benefits um, so the results would completely vary because of many factors and again these are not drugs when you take a pill and it's gonna sort of work and, and be applied the same way for for everybody uh, aloe vera gel is a uh, pure and natural um, juice that uh, has different effects on different people. Can children drink aloe vera? Absolutely yes. Babies, children, kids. My both sons have started drinking when they were five and seven. Um, I've seen babies drinking it because babies have also uh, stomach issues and stomach problems, especially when they're switching from um, from breast milk to, to formula or from breast milk to, to solid food, then uh, they have these gases, they have different things, they're adjusting to, to the new type of food and aloe vera will certainly help them with, uh, with uh, adjusting to, to that. Are there any negative side effects drinking aloe vera gel? Uh, there are side effects, but there are, I've never heard that some people have some kind of negative side, effect, side effects. However, there are two things that I would like to bring it to your attention. Number one, there is something called healing crisis. And healing crisis is a process where you introduce something natural or something good, something that people are take, taking, drinking, using, and you introduce it to your body for the first time or the first, first few times. And before the problem gets better it sort of looks or appears to be worse and this is called healing crisis so you want to continue despite that it may be look worse for example some people might get some kind of a rash on their back um, I heard one person had that uh, another person uh, I think had some kind of rash on the face very rare I, I've spoken probably to hundreds and hundreds of people and there are only like two or three um, instances of that so it's very very rare but if it happens it's sort of normal it shows up and it goes away because aloe vera will detoxify and will cleanse uh, all these toxins and sometimes they go through the stool out sometimes they will go through the skin out and it appears that things are maybe getting they're not there's nothing that aloe vera has that would negatively affect our body so um, that and another thing is, um, 
I've noticed many, many people that when they start and continue to drink aloe vera gel, uh, most people will lose some weight. Uh, obviously, this is not necessarily a negative side effect, but that's what happens very often because aloe vera cleanses the intestines and usually there's uh, quite a few build uh, over a period of time and aloe vera cleanses those buildups and that those oils and fat from our intestines and hence over a period of time uh, will lose weight. And uh, the last thing that I want to mention about aloe vera gel, drinking aloe vera gel, um, normally people would not drink this to solve any, any kind of, um, any kind of uh, illnesses. Uh, you don't drink aloe vera to cure things. This is not a drug. This is not some kind of a pill. This is not um, uh, something that uh, you would drink for that reason. However, many people have got relief. Uh, some people have gotten off the medication while taking and drinking aloe vera gel. I know some people who had diabetes type 2 and they have been taking aloe vera gel and they, they, they're not taking the medication anymore. However, if somebody has diabetes or diabetes type 2, then we would not necessarily suggest them that they need to drink to cure diabetes because we're not here to cure anything. Uh, however, um, we take this to prevent and, and to keep our uh, health and well-being at the best possible level. Uh, on top of all this, uh, I want to also mention that all our products, including aloe vera gel, has offer, our company offers 100% money-back guarantee. So whenever somebody purchases the products and if they're not happy for any reason they can uh, easily get the money back just requesting uh, the money back including shipping if they purchase the these products online. Our products are also halal and um, we have Islamic seal of, of certificate. Uh, our products are also gluten-free, our products are kosher and we don't test our products on animals which is really important for many many people. And with this I would um, sort of finish this little presentation about aloe vera 